Hey guys, welcome to um the what you need to know for the graphs internal part three. For this part, we'll be covering all the tra uh, translations and moving the graphs. Okay, so this is typically the merit and excellence part of the internal. Okay, so what we're gonna start with um uh shifting uh shifting a specific amount of units up or down okay so if for example we're gonna say uh for example i will move a uh for example i'll move a graph uh two units up and three units down okay so with this question okay uh oh sorry three units to the left sorry three units left so for this uh question, okay, so basically uh we're gonna communicate to our marker, okay? So when we're moving it up or down, we're changing the C value, and if we're moving it left or right, we're changing the B value, okay? So um uh, uh um I will substitute uh x in my equation. Uh, with okay, so you know when you move it left, okay, so left is um negative. Uh, you move it's moving it's minus something, but a double minus makes a positive. So uh, we're gonna replace x in my equation with x plus three, and uh, I will replace y in my equation. Uh, I'll replace y in my equation with uh y minus two. So it's been moved two units up, so we're going to replace it with y minus 2, okay? So, um, so for example, we have our, um, uh, for example, we have, um, we have our parabola here, so y equals to a x plus, uh, we'll just say a x plus b, not plus b, a x minus, uh, a x minus b, x minus c, okay? So if we, we'll just say, uh, y minus 2 equals to a, uh, replace x with x plus 3, so x plus 3 minus b, x plus 3 minus c. So y equals to a, x plus 3 minus b, x plus 3 minus c, plus 2. That's basically all, all there is to it. You don't have to do anything else, okay, for this for this part of the question. That's, that's all you have to leave your uh, answer as, okay? So for our domain, how will our domain change, okay? So if we had, um... If we had, uh, for example, if our original domain, our original domain was uh, A and B, so uh, B is greater than or equal to X, uh, X is, uh, no, X is greater than or equal to A, or X is less than or equal to B. So I'll substitute X in my equation with X plus 3, okay? So we say X plus 3 greater A less than or equal to B. So we move the plus 3 to both sides, okay? So plus 3 becomes minus 3, so B minus 3 is greater than or equal to X. Uh, x is greater than or equal to a minus 3. So that's how your domain will change. Okay. Uh, so everything has been moved uh, to the left by 3 units. Okay. Okay. So the next part is what if you don't know how many units left or right. Okay. That's the next part. So we'll just say uh, I, uh, I will um, move a graph uh, p units down p and q left for example okay so uh i will move uh i've got p down and q or we'll say right actually we'll just say q right okay so uh we're moving uh p down so that's a change to the y value and we're moving um uh a, a left or right that's changing your x value okay so we have um uh for example we have our equation we'll just say uh for example y equals to um We'll say a x minus c minus d minus e. Okay, so we just uh we'll be substituting. So we'll communicate to our marker. Okay, uh, I will replace x in my equation with. Okay, so you're moving a, a Q unit to right, okay? So because you're moving a right, okay? So right, you're moving a positive, but negative and a positive make a negative, okay? So, um, so I'll be replacing X in my equation with X, um, with X minus Q. And I will, I'll replace Y in my equation 
with uh, y plus uh, with y plus p. Because we're moving it down, okay, if we move the plus p top side, it becomes minus p, okay, so we're moving it down. So for uh, this equation, we'll just say y, uh, y, minus, uh, y plus p equals to a. So I substitute x uh, equals x minus q, so x minus q minus c, x minus q minus d, uh, x, uh, x minus q minus e. Okay, so we just say y equals to a, x minus q minus c, x minus q minus d, x minus q minus e, uh, minus p. So that's our uh, final generalized equation. Uh, three, for example, we just change it up. We'll say, for example, in an exponential, we'll say, uh, for example, y equals to a, uh, y equals to ax minus b plus c. Okay, so basically we just do the same thing. Y plus p equals to a. Uh, substitute x equals to, uh, x equals to x minus q. So x minus q minus b plus c. Y equals to a x minus q minus b minus p plus c. That's really the, all there is to it. Okay, so you're just moving um the uh, the you're just moving the um um uh, you just uh moving the graph a specific amount of units uh p p units and q units are uh, up up and right uh I mean any direction it can be up down left or right okay so if you're moving to the left uh you're adding okay if you're moving to the right you're, uh, it's minus okay if you move up if you move it if you move uh, the graph up you replace y with y minus something if you move the graph down you will replace y with y plus something okay. So uh, it's pretty straightforward, okay. So you don't that's um you don't have to simplify it any further, okay. So um uh that's that's really it for moving uh uh down aspect uh, down and up, left and right, okay. So uh now we're gonna be moving on to reflecting the graph, okay. So um it's a bit a bit a bit harder, but I guess it's still uh not it's not too bad, I guess. So uh reflecting the graph Reflect the graph. Oh dear. Sorry, guys, just skip ahead in the video. You don't have to watch this. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot to say our domains, okay? So how will our domains change for um, this question, okay? So our domain, sorry about that, guys, this is important. So our domain, okay, so originally, let's say we had, originally we had uh, A and B again, okay? So but this time, um, uh, this time we'll replace X with X minus P. So um, X minus P, okay, so basically you move the minus P to the other side, okay? So basically domain, it legit just becomes B plus, um, Oh no, was it Q? Sorry, it was Q. X minus Q. So B, uh, so we just move the minus Q to both sides. Okay, so that becomes plus Q. So B plus Q uh, greater than or equal to X less than, uh, greater than or equal to um, um, A plus Q. That's legit. That's the legit what's going to happen to your domain. There's nothing else to it. All right, so. Uh, what happens if we reflect the graph, okay? If we uh, reflect the graph, uh, let's, uh, let's go with the reflecting on the y-axis first, okay? So, uh, if we reflect our graph on the y-axis, I will replace x and y equation with um negative x okay so for example uh we have uh y equals to a to the power of x minus b plus c so legit all that is is just y equals to a minus x minus b plus c that's it you don't have to change anything else so legit that it's pretty straightforward uh if we had for example uh y equals to k times square root of x all it would become is y equals to k times square root of negative x Alright, so that's all there is to it. Another last example, for example, we say, um, sorry, just, mm, this stuff here. Yeah. 
Okay, so one more example, we say y equals to k divided by x minus b plus c, y equals to k divided by negative x, negative b plus c. Right, so that's the you're just changing x to negative x, it's really straightforward, okay? So that's really, really straightforward. Uh, just one more example for sake of it, just in case. Um, so for example, y equals to a, x minus b, x minus c. So basically this becomes y equals to a, negative x, negative b, oh, negative x, negative c. Okay, that's basically all there is to it, okay? However, if we are, if we're gonna reflect our graph in the x axis, okay, um, that would be a bit different, okay. So, uh, uh, if we reflect our graph on the x axis, uh, replace, replace, uh, oh, not x, replace y in my equation. with uh with negative y okay so for example uh we, we have a uh, negative y equals to um k times square root of x all you're doing is just moving the negative of the side we'll say y equals to negative k times square root of x okay so keeping in mind um that it's um you're changing it from a positive to a negative okay uh for example another uh we'll give another example Okay, so we say, for example, another example, y, y equals to a, x, x, um, we'll just use numbers, for example, x plus 3, x plus 4, so negative y equals to a, x plus 3, x plus 4. Okay, so for example, uh, we're gonna draw this, um, draw this out a little bit, okay, so, um, okay, so we're gonna, Sorry guys, um, where was I? Um, I was gonna say that, uh, for example, we're gonna draw this, uh, this graph out a little bit, okay? So, uh, just let me give it. So, what will it look like? It'll look like, um, so it will intercept that three, uh, three and, okay, this is very bad numbers. Um, it's fine. So, we have, for example, we have our parabola here. Okay, so, uh, uh, if we were to reflect it in the x-axis, okay? That means the uh, the x intercepts will still be at these two points, okay? So it'll still be x plus 3, x plus 4, okay? So you don't actually change that when you move the negative y. So all the changes is uh, y equals to negative a, x plus 3, x plus 4. Because um, the original, uh, the, the positive parabola, when you reflect it, it's going to become something like this. It'll become uh, the negative parabola. Sorry, it looks more like this. So it looks like... So that will happen when it reflects it, okay, so the positive parabola has become a negative parabola, but the x-intercepts are still the same, okay, the x-intercepts are still the same, so you keep it as x plus 3, x plus 4, and all you're changing is uh, a to negative a, that's legit all you're changing, okay, uh, for example, the cubic is the same logic, okay, the x-intercepts, the x-intercepts remain the same, but then the positive cubic becomes a negative cubic, okay, so for example, we have y equals to a, x minus b, x minus c, x minus d. When you reflect it in the x axis, um, the intercepts are still going to be b, c, and d. Okay, so uh, so but if we move across, it'll just be y equals to negative a, x minus b, x minus c, x minus d. Okay, that's the all there is to it. Okay, do not overthink it. Okay, so that's just moving the negative to the other side and changing the a to a negative a. Uh, for example, our exponential, I'll give it an example, so y equals to ax minus b plus c. Um, once again, um, uh, for example, in our parabola, we had a plus 3 at the end, okay? If we had a plus 3 on our parabola at the end, uh, it will look something uh, shifted up by 3. For example, it's shifted up by 3, but when you reflect it down, uh, reflect it in the x-axis, it will be negative 3. So it will be shifted down by 3. So that also changes if you move the negative y to the other side. So for example, um, uh, negative y and plus 3, so that will just become minus 3. Okay, just keep that in mind. And that's the same for the cubic. Okay, so if we had our exponential y equals to x minus b plus c, 
So if we had negative y equals to ax minus b plus c, okay, you move the negative to the other side, uh, only the c and the a become negative, okay? So we say y equals to negative a x minus b minus c, okay? That is legit all there is to it, okay? And, um... Yeah, so don't don't overthink it. So only the plus C at the end, okay, that's gonna be switched to a negative C. Okay, and um and the shape, the A, okay, the A of the graph is gonna become negative, okay? So the positive parabola is gonna become a negative parabola, happy parabola becomes sad parabola, uh or vice versa, maybe the sad parabola becomes the happy parabola, maybe the positive cubic becomes a negative cubic, okay? Okay, so having our, um, um, that there is pretty, what am I saying, <laughs> what did I just say, um, so, um, that's what you would do if you had a, n a negative y, um, negative y there, okay, alright, so, how, uh, oh, how would your, uh, domains change, okay, so, if you reflect in the x-axis, okay, you reflect in this x-axis, looking at this parabola picture again, okay, Okay, it's legit still the exact, oh sorry, it's still exact same, okay, so it's still going to go from here to here. Uh, again, that's still here from here. Domain doesn't change. Okay, but I forgot to mention this in the, in the reflecting on the x-axis, but when you, uh, no, 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 we're reflecting on the y-axis. If you reflect on the y-axis, you replace x with negative x, okay? So, for example, I had a happy parabola over here, okay? And, sorry, i just get rid of this for now. So, a uh, happy parabola here, and I reflect it. It's going to still be a happy parabola, but instead it's going to be over here, okay? But as you can see, in, uh, originally this was positive uh, something to something. But now, instead of positive something to something, it's now negative something to something, okay? So now, okay, our domain, for example, we had um, x, uh, a, and b again. So, all we're, all we're doing is uh, putting negative x in the middle, okay? Okay, and we're going to move the negative negative to the other side, okay? So we're going to say, um, um, we're going to say, uh, negative B and negative A. Okay, that's, you're just changing the positive to the negative, okay? Or vice versa, you're changing the negative to a positive, okay? So just flipping the orientation of the signs, or if you're flipping it on the y-axis for the domain. But if you're reflecting it on the x-axis, the domain doesn't change, okay? There's no change to the domain. All right, moving on to our um, we'll move on to our reflect on the line. Okay, that's also uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, uh, if you think about it, okay, um, reflecting on the on the line. Okay, if we uh, for example, if we're reflecting on a line that's parallel to the y-axis, so for example, we're gonna reflect on the line. Um, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six. X equals to six. If we uh, reflect on a on a line that's um, parallel to the y-axis, we're going to replace our x value with 2a minus x, okay? <coughs> okay, so um, that's uh, what we're going to do. Okay, so for example, uh, we're just going to uh, replace it with 2a minus x, okay? Um, I'll... Uh, I'll a value would be 6 in this case, so 12 minus, uh, so we have our 12, 12 minus x here, okay? So that's reflecting, so you're just replacing everything, in this case, you're replacing everything by 12 minus x. Uh, if we were to, uh, for example, we're going to reflect a parabola, okay, we're going to say, um, um, for example, uh, this parabola here, okay, uh, we have, um, Okay, 9 and 11, okay, so we have y equals 2. We're going to assume that the shape, that a equals to 1, okay, so we just put that for simplicity. So minus 9, x minus 11. So all you're doing is you're replacing uh, x with x, oh, fuck. Uh, all you're doing is you're replacing x with negative 2, oh, no. You're replacing x with 2a minus x, okay, and a, and a equals to 6. So y equals to 12 minus x minus 9. 12 minus x minus 11. So y equals 2. 12 minus 9 is 3, so 3 minus x. And 12 minus 11 is 1 minus x. Okay, that's legit. Again, that's all there is to it, okay? And um, how will our domains change, okay? Once again, we're just uh, replacing x in our domain with 2a minus um, x, okay? So our domain 
how will it change? So we have x, we'll use a and b again, so a uh, is our original domain. So we'll just replace x with 2a minus x, so domain. Um, that becomes b, okay, that becomes, uh, we have uh, 2a minus x, so 12 minus x. We move the 12 to the other side, okay, so b minus 12, negative x, and a minus 12. Okay, so basically, um, now we have to change this x to a positive x, so we divide everything by negative 1. So negative b plus 12, You've when you divide by negative 1, you also flip the signs, okay, so that becomes here and here, and that becomes negative a plus 12. Okay, so that's um, basically um, how you, the domains would change, okay. So you're just replacing x in the equation with 2a minus x, okay? So your domain, instead of x, it would just be 12 minus x in this situation, okay? If we reflect it on a line that's parallel to the, y, uh, to the x axis, okay, we will replace, uh, replace y with, uh, we'll replace y with 2y minus, uh, not 2y. Uh, we'll replace y with 2a minus y, okay? So, for example, we have our same parabola here, okay, so that's uh, y equals to x minus 9, x minus 11. So, that just becomes um, 12 minus y equals to um, x minus 9, x minus 11. Okay, so basically, you move the 12 to the other side, okay, so negative y equals to x minus 9, x minus 11. And... Uh, minus 12 as well because the 12 here so negative y we divide everything by negative 1 okay so again all we're doing is making the a making the shape negative and the c changes orientation okay so y equals to negative x minus 9 uh, x minus 11 plus 12 okay so um that's that's um uh, if we're um yeah, so that's how it would be if we were reflecting on the line y equals to 6. So if we were reflecting it on this line here. If we were reflecting on the line y equals to 6, then you would get um, here as your final answer here. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so if, if we're reflecting it on our y axis, oh, about, if we reflected uh, on, the, um, on the line parallel to the x-axis, the domain doesn't change again. Okay, domain does not change. Okay, um, the domain only changes for when you reflect the graph uh, parallel to the y-axis, okay? Uh, because in this, in this equation, you're only replacing y with 2a minus y. Your x isn't replaced with anything, okay? And now domain is just uh, is x something, okay? So the x isn't replaced, so therefore the domain doesn't change. But for the reflecting on the y-axis, the X is, re x is replaced by 2a minus x, and because x is replaced, then the domain changes, okay? Okay, so I think, uh, I think I covered everything in this video, okay, so that's, um, the, um, reflecting on the line, reflecting on the x and y axis, and, ref and translating it up, down, left, and right, okay? If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.